In this video, I'm gonna go over what you could expect for your Q3 earnings for fiscal year 2025 for BlackBerry stock, which will most likely be reported on December 19, 2024, according to BlackBerry's website. Either it's on this day or a day before or a day after. Now, also one thing to note as well is on October 16th, 2024 at 9.30 a.m., they'll have the investor day of 2024 but for BlackBerry stock. I will be live streaming that. So if you wanna be notified when I do upload my next BlackBerry video or live stream, consider following and subscribing so you can be notified when I do. And in terms of Outlook, BlackBerry did also provide that for Q3 earnings, which was provided during the Q2 earnings that was released on September 26, 2024, which I do have a replay of that on my channel, plus an overview as well. So both those videos should pop up right about now if you wanna watch them. And in terms of comparison, uh, they're expecting total company revenue to come in at 146 million to 154 million, which I wanna note one thing. The reason why I think the company might be, in terms of share price, is declining. Uh, for the time being, we're pretty much at $2.34 US, I believe, right about here if I pull it up, $2.34, is because, yeah, Ivy is a little bit slowing down, and not slowing down, it's not being adapted as fast as we would hope it would, because it had potential in terms of massive growth, at least we we're hoping that to be the case, but I think more so the total company revenue guidance that they provided, and I didn't realize this, but last year's Q3, what came in at $175 million. And this time around, they're expecting 146 to 154 million. So if this is the case, and even if they beat this outlook at getting 155 million, because the reason why I'm stating that is because Street Estimates is expecting 150 million. So it would be beneficial to hit 155 because you beat your outlook, plus you beat Street Estimates, but unfortunately you'll still fall short of last year's revenue at 175 million. So it'll be year over year decline for the same quarter. And then I was expecting, okay, maybe they're reporting quite a bit of a loss last year's Q3. Uh, because they're expecting to be cash flow positive by Q4, they stated. They seem to be on track of everything they're promising, which is awesome. And this quarter for Q2 that was reported on September 26, they reported $18 million of losses. So I'm expecting by Q3, with, when they report $146 to $154 million of profit, that they're expected to have probably $5 to $10 million of losses since they're expected to be cash flow positive by Q4. Now, they did state one time that there's a chance that they be, could be cash flow positive by Q3, so that would be a little bit of a surprise and awesome. But when I looked at a last year's Q3, again, $165 million, I was expecting massive losses maybe, if that was the potential case in terms of comparison, maybe not to get hit so much, but they actually reported $6 million of losses. So even if they get that 5 to $10 million of losses next quarter, it does fall short in terms of comparison of last year's same quarter because they got $165 million with $6 million losses. 146 to 154 is not that great. Unless maybe they get they have a surprise where they're cash flow positive Q3 hitting that milestone quicker than expected, which would be awesome. But there's that. Uh, by the way, I'm not a professional, so please do your own due diligence and research before buying and selling. And also be mindful while you're watching this video. I do own shares in the company. So again, be mindful of that while you're watching this video. Also, one thing I do want to know is in terms of IoT side of the division, because that's the next thing I'm going to go over, uh, it is growing in terms of the QNX side's royalty is growing, attributing to more uh, revenue coming in for the quarters, which is awesome because it provides like a kind of a baseline where you could expect the revenue to clients climb up steadily, hopefully, and setting up a good foundation. So that's awesome. That was m mentioned more for the Q2 earnings. Again, reported on September 26 of 2024, right about here. Now, in terms of the IoT division side, it's actually showing good promise so far. It's 56 to 60 million expected for Q3 earnings, and that beats the Q2 earnings, so last quarter, so we'll see quarter over quarter growth. Uh, it showed about 55 million for IoT division for Q2. And on the bottom end, it was 56 million. So obviously quarter over quarter growth. And then last year's Q3 came in at 55 million as well. So again, the bottom end just beats that as well. So we have year over year growth, quarter over quarter growth. The thing that takes the biggest hit, unfortunately, is the cybersecurity division. And the reason why I say that is unfortunate is because in my next video, I'm gonna dive in more of the cybersecurity side because uh, I'm personally, this is uh, unfortunate is because cybersecurity division should be playing a, uh, a decent role in terms of the company because if you look at the market cap for the company, uh, it is at $1.38 billion. When in 2019, they bought Silence, a cybersecurity company, for $1.4 billion. So you, being lower in terms of a previous company you bought is unfortunate and seeing cybersecurity not picking up as much as it could is unfortunate as well, but we'll see. They're still progressing, so that is optimistic. It is a new management team, so we'll see how the future unfolds moving forward. But they're expecting 86 million to 90 million for Q3, which is decent for quarter over quarter comparison because Q2 earnings quarter was reported at 87 million. So if they get on the lower end, it's unfortunate quarter over quarter decline. If they get 87 million, it's flat. 
but if they get above 87 million, it's quarter over quarter growth. The biggest hit for in terms of quarter uh, last year's quarter Q3 comparison is the cybersecurity cybersecurity side because it came in at 114 million last year same quarter, right? And that even on the high end 90 million unfortunately is year over year decline by quite a bit, 24 million dollars even on the higher end, right? So quite a bit of a hit unfortunately. Then licensing and other uh, other revenue approximately at 4 million expected. Adjusted EBITDA break even plus or minus uh, 10 million and then non-gap basic earnings per share expected to be plus or minus 1 cent. Uh, hopefully the earnings will be good. I will be live streaming that as well. If you want to be notified when I do live stream and upload all my BlackBerry videos, consider subscribing and following to so be notified when I do. And uh, if you find this found this video beneficial, consider like dropping a like. Helps out the channel. So thank you so much for that. I do appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Take care. God bless and peace.